it is week 30. Within the next seven to 10 weeks, little baby's gonna come out. So I don't exactly know how I feel about it. I'm kind of excited. I'm a little worried that I might not be good at giving birth. I don't know, you know. I think it's gonna be okay. I have no idea what to expect. I'm super excited to meet her. Super excited to see who she is and what she looks like and how she smells and, and how, how she feels and her little hands and feet. And I'm, I'm, I'm already getting emotional thinking about it. Anyway. Very, very excited. So, so far we've been doing very well, little baby and I. Um, there was one little scare, not with her directly, but um, I had to do this sugar test and they did diagnose me with gestational diabetes. What the hell, I've been eating well, you know, like uh, didn't put on that, that much weight. But it's, um, it's really just something that my placenta does, like, produces certain types of hormones that then make it harder for the cells to take in the insulin to, to process the sugar. So they become insulin resistant for some reason. That's just what happens in my body. So it got nothing to do with me being unhealthy or anything or eating unhealthily. Since then I really have to take care or be very careful and listen to what I eat, when I eat, how often I eat mainly carbohydrates, not so much pure sugar, it's really that the carbohydrate sugar like the bread, the potatoes, starchy stuff, you know, all of that sort of stuff. I need to make sure I don't eat too much of it so I don't cross the threshold of the level that I'm supposed to have. So I have to check my levels now every yeah, four times a day I have to check my blood sugar levels now. I've got a little machine given from the hospital. Yeah, so far my levels have been fine. So there's no real danger for me, there's no real danger for the baby at the moment. The main problem with, with too high sugar levels in the blood is that the baby grows way too big, becomes super big and then it gets very complicated for the birth. Often they get stuck on the shoulders or they're just too big to come out naturally and a cesarean is kind of, you know, indicated. The other problem can be breathing problems but also hyperglycemia which is if I have too much sugar in my blood that then crosses through the placenta into the baby's bloodstream. So the baby will also have a lot of sugar in there. So what the baby then has to do is her pancreas needs to produce a lot of insulin to get rid of all the sugar, right? So she's overproducing. By the time she gets, she comes out and gets disconnected from my placenta, all that sugar goes away too, but she still has all this insulin that she's kind of trying to get rid of sugar. So she will become very, very low in sugar which is very dangerous. I really do not want anything like that to happen to her. So I've been eating well. I've been um, exercising, so that helps a lot as well. Been swimming, been walking, been doing my little weights. No, nothing too heavy, obviously. But I um, picked that up again and it works quite well. So there you go. Got it all under control. We're both safe, safe and healthy. So I might um, show you the belly now. <laughs> big. It's like someone's plonked it on the top of my normal body. <laughs> like the rest pretty much stay the same but that belly is seriously big. It's too bad you'll never know. Yeah I can't tell her how I feel because she has someone who makes her happy. So I'm off to the clinic now. I've got another appointment with the dietitian this time. She's going to have a look at my blood sugar readings from the last week when I had to follow this strict diet. And then she'll tell me how to proceed. I think it'll be fine. All my levels were spot on, much lower than they meant to be. So I don't think there's an issue, but we'll see what she has to say. All my numbers are good. She was very happy with me, so, and so was I. <laughs> so there's no danger for me or the baby at all. I'm just continuing on this little diet and do some exercise. Alrighty, I'm at the pool now. It's so easy to see That you're in love with me Carve your name next to mine on that big old tree. It's how you want it to be. 
Well, that was nice. Um, I feel refreshed. So I was in the water, everything feels really light. And then as soon as I get out of the water, it feels like Bruh! it drags all down to the ground. <laughs> Hey Kajaki, I'm now on my way to the shops to buy some food that I am allowed to eat. <laughs> oh, and did I show you? I've got a child seed. There it is. But also, I bought a pram today from Baby Buntings online though. But it will get delivered to the house. So I do not have to carry it around. On my way down to the beach. So there you go, I'm on a little beach walk. Another form of little exercise for me and my little baby. <laughs> and mainly, not just exercise, but mainly it's relaxation. It is so beautiful. So 30 weeks update is, I'm feeling pretty well. I do have gestational diabetes, but it doesn't, doesn't bother me because it's under control, it's well managed. And I'm getting a bit healthy at the same time because I'm eating really, really well now. So I'll keep you up to date. Next, next week we have another appointment with the midwife and another scan. We don't have to have a skin, but we want to see. It's a 3D one. Uh, we want to see if we can see her face a little bit. <laughs> and then we're already going to the prenatal class. So that's going to be interesting. And then I guess I'm slowly getting ready to give birth. Like to really read about it and think about it and kind of prepare, I suppose. But I'll keep you up to date with that as well. Okay, I'll see you next time. Yeah? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Packed our bags, we'll be on our way.